Okay, hello and welcome to episode 148 of the Drinky Talky Thingy. Um, this little intro is because, unfortunately, whatever Gao did when he hit record on that camera when we recorded this the other day caused the sound not to be captured. This makes it very difficult for me to sync up the uh, separate audio files that we record with the video files. And after an hour and a half's worth of trying, I gave up. So instead of seeing us, you'll just have the audio with me playing Diablo 3, uh, what the hell's it called? Uh, the, the, the Diablo 3 expansion, I've got the name of. Gameplay footage of that. But enjoy the podcast, and we'll see you in the next episode, probably with actual video footage for a change. Uh, hello, and welcome to Drinky Talky Thing number 148. Yep. Where, because we've actually had many weeks since we last recorded... It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. we're that far behind on the gaming news, we're, we're literally just going to talk about the shit that interests us. We're going to skim to the interesting bits, yeah. We're, which... we're just going to talk about the shit that interests us, rather than try and pretend we're a new show. We're not! We've never been news. Yeah. If, to be fair, let's be honest, news relies on being there the moment it happens. Yeah. To the point where people will report on shite that isn't true, just in the hope that yeah. it will be correct. So instead, we're going to offer opinions of dickheads, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> we drink, we think we know more than we do, Yeah. and we comment on... Very successful people in the industry in a very British, very spiteful way because they have success. Yeah. So, so if you if yeah, you haven't happy times. If you haven't <laughs> listened or watched this before, I am drunken gamer. <laughs> uh, actually fuck it, I am Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. And I'm Gao. And what's Gao. the first topic you want to talk about? Um, well to be honest, we've got the PlayStation 4 Drive Club thing. Yes, what the fuck happened there? It's, it's ridiculous, the entire yeah. thing's gone to pot, they've lost. I'll, I'll be honest, this is where having a conversation's going to fail, because all I know is that they've gone back to the drawing board, well. because that's what the headline says. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I know that, that's a big that, fuck-up in terms of Sony. Yeah, yeah. basically they, they step back, they're going back to the drawing board. Not completely back, they still yeah. plan to release in the next few months, uh, but they're not happy. They were experimenting with Drive Club with VR because the entire point of Drive Club was it's the perfect driving experience uh, well isn't that what you sold fucking GT on yeah Gran Turismo <laughs> would be brilliant if you could do this yeah <laughs> the amount of times that you're driving the car and you kind of go oh is there a car to the right of me I just don't know but <laughs> they, they, they've again pushed it back they've said that there's going to be a release date very soon but at the same time, they've cut a massive swathe of staff from that studio. <laughs> it's never a good sign, is it? Two of the directors of that studio have walked. I like to think that actually they've all been kicked out because they just drew, drew dicks on all the cars or something. <laughs> you know, just something really petty. Uh, I, 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 as long as they've got rid of that guy that got up during the presentation of the PS4 and basically had an orgasm over the leather, <laughs> the leather effect <laughs> on the seats. Yeah. That guy was fucking creepy and needs to be gone. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> He is... wasn't helping anyone. <laughs> yeah, th- there is a stereotype about people that really <laughs> like driving games. Yeah. He fit it perfectly. <laughs> He's the last person you want promoting your game. He should never have yeah. been allowed out in public. Look at the leather. Oh, and it wipes down clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's just taking it to a new Too level far? of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the next thing, honestly, with VR and Drive Club, the next thing is dogging simulator in it. <laughs> Just, you drive out to a country lane, no, and no, the no. cars pull up, flash the lights. You'd have to mix you'd have to mix it with Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually go to proper locations. <laughs> so you can go to proper locations. This way, I, I can't wait for the day where you know we're gonna have driverless cars eventually. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking eventually you'd just be able to take your car for a drive to a dogging car park. And yeah, so basically, up, I just want. Just to fuck with people. Yeah. <laughs> Flash the lights, they come across, there's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> just me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a weird sense of humour, clearly. Um, but the, the VR thing that we mentioned during that whole drive club thing has yeah. kind of blown up this week. Ooh. 
Not least because Oculus has been bought by Fitbit. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's one. That's the biggest. Yeah. Earth, the big story. But if we go back, actually, there is a bigger one. Yeah. Sony Morpheus. Yeah, so, right. Two that is a bigger story. Massive, really. massive stories VR wise. Massive. Yeah. How, how massive? <laughs> that massive. <laughs> it's just the hands are coming up again. Massive. <laughs> um, yeah. So Sony yeah. are launching the Morpheus. Sony have announced, have officially announced their version, their, their VR headwear. And it's currently called Project Morpheus, and I am appealing to you, uh, Kish. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> we are not worthy. Yeah. Please give us access. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want access. Oh. Just keep it called the fucking Morpheus. Yeah, actually. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I will buy one when it releases. I will never touch one before it releases. Just keep it called Morpheus. I want because I well. can't what because is- I can't think of a better name for a VR kit than Morpheus because it's Matrix. Yeah, well, it's, it's the god of dreams, isn't it, Morpheus? Morpheus, the god of dreams. Morpheus, Matrix, VR, yeah. Matrix. Job done. The moment I have to plug something into my spine, I am not going to be happy. Yeah. Though. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> That's too far. No, no, no. I'm seeing that as the intravenous feed. <laughs> <laughs> is that just for food? Yeah. yeah. Just keep, keep playing. No, classic. no. It, in and out. <laughs> Lovely. Um, <laughs> Different but, tubes, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to confuse those two, do you? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, Sony announced theirs. And it, was, it was a bit sparse in terms of content. It was, we're doing VR. Woo, look at the VR. That guy's happy. He's happy. He's twisting no, no, no. his head. Things are moving. Some people did, they did show some actual ideas of where they're going with it and it's more that they're they're not trying to apply the new technology to the existing game catalog it's not yeah. that they're trying to rep uh, they can do the whole they know they can do the whole okay you can use this as a second screen thing yeah. all of the demos were actually <laughs> using it in new ways so they had a sword fighting game where you were actually a knight in armour and you the, the visor was there and you only had the blinkered view yeah. that you would have had, but you had two move, uh, two of the old school uh, move magic wand bubbly things <laughs> they, they, that were your sword and shield. The glow in the dark yeah. women's toys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. They, they, yeah. they were. That's kind of cool, but at the same time, that's not really anything new. Mm. I mean, my. It's not massively new and there's not anything particularly brilliant about it. Yeah. But at the same time, it does have the backing of a company with the power yes. of Sony. Yeah. And uh, Sony however, are, look at how Sony have focused their attention. So they're yeah. in pure multimedia, video and audio. Yeah. That is what they're focusing. They're dropping PCs, they're dropping anything that's losing money. Yeah. And they're focusing on being the best, like they used to be. Yeah, they're focusing on what they do I well. Oh wait, because Sony, do you remember when Sony used to be? It's like, if you wanted to buy anything, if you wanted to buy, rent of buying no, a Sony. If you wanted to buy hardware, you uh, you bought Sony, and then they bought Ericsson, and then everything went to shit. It all went a bit peaked on, yeah. It's, it's when they <laughs> diversified into mobile phones, that's when it went shit. Yeah. And that's why they don't own mobile phones anymore. TVs went budget, everything just went... But Sony used to be the dog's danglers, it looks like they're going back there. Yeah. And VR is good. VR is really interesting in the way that it's been applied. But to be fair, I don't think we need gimmicks. The, the, you can turn your head and turn your head in game. That is enough for me. Yep. In flight sims, that is brilliant. In war sims, that is awesome. The only thing that, again, that iron sights thing is the yeah. problem, but fix that as you come to it. The cod kiddies are going to fucking despise it. Yeah. You can't no scope if you're looking the wrong way. You're not going to cross it on your screen. You can. You over shoulder. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming if you're looking that way and you press fire, it doesn't just go. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be. Who are we? The U.S. Army? I mean, that's just silly. No, um, I, I, I'm thinking you've got it over your shoulder and you're looking forward. <laughs> <laughs> Firing behind you as you yeah. run. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem now, isn't it? Is you're going to get to a point where. 
Because the last thing you want is a VR headset is brilliant. You're immersed, you're in the game, but you're still holding a controller. The yeah. only way to get around that is if you're holding a gun. If you're holding a gun, how do you walk? If you have to walk on uh, the spot, the, nobody's going to play it, that It's shit. the Omni. No, no. A physical exertion is not the solution. <laughs> right, you shouldn't have to move to move in a virtual world. No, but 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 that combination... I. I don't know. I know it's not going to work as a viable alternative. Yeah. I do still want to try out. That that's how arcade that co- should that, be. That combina- the, yeah, that I, I would like to go to an arcade and yeah. try the VR, whichever kit with the Omni with the gun shaped controller. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I can't stand shooters, but I would fucking love that. I would spend <laughs> hundreds of pounds at the yeah. arcade just running around in circles. <laughs> Bump. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, reinvent the arcade, make that an arcade, because you can never have that at home without spending a lot of money. Well, to be fair, the VR market does actually bring up the relevance of the arcade again, yeah. because an arcade could rack out an entire wall with just VR kit. Yeah. But Simpsons fucking showed it, the, the, the VR ski ball. <laughs> no, they had their what was it on the, the VR farming. Yeah. And everyone's saying now that Facebook have bought Oculus. It's coming true! It's yeah. <laughs> a farm bill, but with VR. But yeah, yeah the, the, that's the other side of it. Oculus have now been purchased by Facebook for $2 billion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's... Right, there's two sides to this guy. There are... And the deal took three days. Yeah. The, <laughs> I'd like to give you $2 billion. Come back tomorrow. I'd like to give you $2 billion. Come back tomorrow. I'd like to give you two million. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty much just we should string this out a bit longer because two billion is awesome. No, no, no. It took two billion from the uh, initial offering for all of the legal shit to be wrapped up and contracted and signed. Yeah. That's, Seventy-two fucking hours. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? But I mean, they've been paid in Facebook stock as well. So <laughs> good luck, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but, no, no, they got paid. Yeah. Well, they got 400 million plus the rest in Facebook stock. And to be fair, Facebook stock is surviving. Although yeah. it plummeted 7% on this now. Yeah, it's pl- it lost 7% yeah. of its value as a result of this purchase. Yeah. Now, as far as I see this, this goes one of two ways. Either Facebook are thinking, yay, farm bill in 3D! Or they're thinking, fuck it, social media is going to start dying a death. We need to diversify. Yeah, and social media, as we know it, is going to start dying. Because it's going to start dying. It's, it's going not to start that interesting. In. No, let's be honest. It's not. You How often do you t- check Twitter? I don't generally. I, I, to be fair, I check Twitter quite a bit, but Facebook I don't touch. Yeah, Twitter I see more as a sharing platform. I see it like I see Reddit. Hey, yeah. look at this. That is fine. Hey, look at what my dog did this morning. It is a bit different. I find that annoying. Even though I do it, constantly. Yeah. <laughs> you're a karma whore, aren't right? you? Yeah. I am, but I, I, I don't do karma through Reddit. I get all of mine through Facebook. I go for likes. Any picture of a sausage dog in a provocative position, likes. What the hell is it? No, I don't want to know seen... the. I don't want to know the answer to the question. Every dog, right? Anyone that's ever owned a dog knows that when they sleep, for some reason, nine times out of ten they'll sleep normally like a dog. But that one out of ten times, they sleep almost like a human with their legs akimbo, presenting everything to the world. That is just, that's when they're really tired. They just sleep like a fucked up retard. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> for some reason, and you people, classify that as provocative? Yeah, people like that. Well, it looks kind of like the whole Titanic paint me like one of your French girls thing, doesn't it? I mean, no. <laughs> legs apart, kind of laid back, arms apart, chest on show. It's pretty much the Titanic scene where he's drawing. No, I own a sheep, but they don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you have a dignified dog. <laughs> clearly, clearly, you're in the wrong here. Yeah. But they, they, I don't know where I was going with this. Yeah, there's been two camps on the Facebook thing. Yeah. There are those that have gone, Facebook, we hate Facebook, because there's a bandwagon. Yeah. And there's those that have said, actually, Facebook has massive amounts of oh. money, and they could really drive well, it forward. Aside from Facebook's money, because basically... you. Let's just take it, face the word Facebook out the equation. Yeah. Somebody has bought Oculus for two billion. Yeah. This gives Oculus two billion fucking dollars to play with. Yeah. There's money there to. Which means that now what 
whatever mm. team they wanted, they can have. Yeah, if they wanted In the guy the, from Valve yeah, VR if, department. If they I wanted mean, the guy that was heading up <laughs> Valve VR department, they can have him. I like your work, and, I see where you're going yeah. <laughs> And they do, yeah. because Artman Binstock, who has a fucking awesome name, <laughs> yeah. who was heading up Valve's VR department. He's no Randy Bumgardner, is he? <laughs> no, he's honest. not. Randy Bumgardner still wins. <laughs> What was he? EA's mobile developer? I can't remember, but I just remember Randy. He was, he, he, he was, he was, yeah, he was the guy at the EA mobile development team. Uh, <laughs> it was just the fact that somebody said to me the other day, well, it's just like Germans have Baumgartner. It's like, yes, but they're not Baumgartners, are they? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 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 Atman Binstock has left Valve to go to Oculus. Which anyone to leave Valve, I would guess, is quite a big move because. Well, no, not really. People have left Valve long before. And but why? Gabe is God. No, why would, why Gabe. Why anyone leave Gabe? Because he's an obnoxious cunt. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not one of these. I'm not one of these worshippers. The guy irritates me. <laughs> he's uh, he's got a unique place in the world, hasn't he? Basically, he's got he's got a unique place in the world. He's been given godhood by all these PC gamers. Yeah. When even he doesn't, he can't count to three. Yeah, even <laughs> when he doesn't fucking deserve it. If anybody listened to him and and paid, get, give him, ah, yeah, it's all thing, right? <laughs> right. Steam's a fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> Steam is shit. Look at it objectively, and the entire Steam store just doesn't fucking work. It's up there with everything. Everything that everyone complains about from any other company, Steam has. Yeah. But because it's Steam, it's fine. Um, but the, the Gabe mentality... Look at the Steam store. <laughs> the front page of the Steam store. It's supposed to be fucking curated. But <laughs> it just... Any publisher can... about this, buddy. <laughs> any publisher can just pile ten ton of shit onto it in a day and take over the entire fucking front page. <laughs> it's just a thing, right? A perfect example of Gabe Newell. He went on about... He, he ranted about Microsoft being a closed system and said, I'm going to go to Linux. Had he said we could get greater benefits from putting more effort into OpenGL, I'd have been on board. But he didn't. He said it's that a closed it. no, no, system no, 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 no. despite being a closed system. Himself. Microsoft this week actually said <laughs> we acknowledged Gabe Newell and the work that Valve have done on creating the backbone of PC gaming in the internet and the... Uh, <laughs> And the curated garden that is Steam. <laughs> nice. You're kind of prodding the bear. Yeah. Right there, Basically, yeah, we acknowledge that Steam that Steam's done good things for PC gaming, but uh, yeah, yeah, you're a cunt. <laughs> Have you tried games for Windows Live? <laughs> no, nobody else has either. <laughs> well, no, but yeah, anyway, uh, Valve <laughs> VR. Uh, yeah, Oculus bought out by Play, uh, but not PlayStation. I feel like we need a laugh track. Every time I tell a terrible joke and you don't laugh and then we get dead silence, we should play that laugh track. <laughs> no, we shouldn't because oh. there's no laugh for a reason. You love that, don't you? <laughs> you love to... Yeah. <laughs> uh, where were we? Yeah, VR. <laughs> I've, I've lost track. Somewhere down here we have Oculus stories. There's a lot of them. Yeah, Oculus. Yeah. Face so Facebook <laughs> bought Oculus and that pissed off a, a few people. Yeah. Starting with the Kickstarter backers, yep. the Kickstarter page, all of the fan threads went a bit nuts. Uh, it's that whole thing of being... Starting with, we didn't fund you for your initial offering to be purchased out by somebody else. Yeah. You remember when I said about there needs to be a way so you can micro-fund a thing so you actually get a share back? Yep. Here is the reason why. Yeah, because then you'd have, then everybody had stu uh, had stood to gain from it. Yeah. So if you'd have kickstarted it, you would have got a share. And when Facebook buys the entire thing for two billion dollars, you would have stood to get a return on your investment. Exactly. Even if that return on investment could uh, uh, was locked within Kickstarter and you could only use it to kickstart other products, that would actually be an improvement on what it is now. Yeah, because then you could be a little. Kind of Basically, a little micro entrepreneur, an online millionaire, an, on, <laughs> an online entrepreneur. Yeah, but what would happen eventually? You could end up potentially with shit tons of money 
online. <laughs> you can't do anything with. And that's different. Uh, <laughs> and that's different from Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and all the other coins. How? Yeah, because you can convert it out sometimes. Unless you're in China, who have recently said, nah, actually, we changed our mind, you're not having it, and Bitcoin's gone. Pfft. Apparently, they're relying on China, and China have just kind of fucked it over completely, so. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, yeah, the 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 first uh, they the Kickstarter backers are not happy about the Oculus buyout. Oh, I've got one, a somewhere. There we go. One particularly uh, notable uh, backer that's not happy is Notch. Yeah, because Notch definitely wasn't a lucky person that just happened to get by. He's actually an industry expert. He's got many titles under his belt that have reached critical acclaim. Oh fuck! No, no, it hasn't. Don't don't discount Minecraft. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry, but right. Yeah, he is a one one hit wonder, yeah. and I will accept this. But Notch got lucky, and even then, he only made the oh. PC version. The console versions, not Notch. No, and but I will give him his due that he's a man of his principles. When he does yeah, something, yeah. he does it for what he wants to do it yeah, for. Yeah, well, you can when your principles are stacked ten high and thousand dollar bloody notes. I mean, <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. But. Go back to his prior Minecraft days, and he still had the same attitude, and you can find evidence of that. Anyway, and he backed Oculus to the tune of ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> Which is one of the the higher tiers of uh, backing for that thing. In fact, I think it was the top tier. I'm just gonna do some quick maths. One minute. Oh, I've got a text. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> But aside from that, aside from his backing, which he wasn't happy about, uh, it's he's canned his upcoming Minecraft conversion for what are you looking for? One minute, I'm trying to do terrible maths. Okay, he he canned his Minecraft conversion for Oculus. Which was only ever going to be a prototype anyway. It wasn't going to be a full version of Minecraft. It was just going to be a demo yeah. of uh, Minecraft for Oculus. But he stopped all development on that because, in his words, he doesn't trust Facebook. Uh, and that's all there is to it. He just went, no, I don't trust Facebook. I don't understand their motives. I don't understand their justification for buying this. They're a social media company and a social media company that I don't want to work with, so I'm backing out. In the same blog post, he does, however, mention... This is where it gets funny. He mentions the already existing mod for Minecraft called uh, Minecraft that actually mod uh, that actually allows you to play the existing Minecraft engine inside a R Oculus Rift. So he says, I'm not against the Oculus Rift, I just don't want to work with Facebook. Is it bad that I think Minecraft actually now, more than anything, sounds like it? <laughs> I feel so bad for saying this. Like Hitler has started a blog about things he makes. Yeah. <laughs> this is Minecraft. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was just too easy. I don't know why, that's just where I went to. Instantly I had Hitler. Making things out of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> no. Oh, dear, 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 dear. I, do, I feel like that I, needs a groan track. I zoned out all the way through what you were saying there, and literally, I had Hitler making things out of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what you just said for the last five minutes. <laughs> Something about Notch and Minecraft, but every time you said Minecraft, my brain went. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, the, the the Oculus version was canned. Notch acknowledged that the Oculus is still a good idea. He just doesn't like Facebook, so he doesn't want to yeah. work with them. As a as that is his prerogative. Yeah. So he acknowledged the uh, uh, the existing add-on that allows you to play the existing Minecraft within Oculus. At the same time, <laughs> Cliff Belensky, Blazinski, Belensky. Right, come on, we've already had this elitist view, despite the fact that all of these people are much more successful than we are. <laughs> right, let's call him by his name. Cliff Blazinski. He called Notch a pouty kid for cancelling Minecraft VR. Yeah. 
At the very start of his announcement, he acknowledged that he had already paid in quite a lot to the Oculus Rift project and stood to uh, gain a considerable amount by the fed purchase. <laughs> Bell end. <laughs> um, right. Thank you. Yeah. I, to be fair, I think all of this all of this just winds down to one thing. There needs to yeah. be a unified approach to VR. Yeah. You can't have everyone going, oh, let's invest loads in the Oculus. Fuck that. Invest in a standardised VR. A VR, production. open source. Yeah. Uh, uh, and there is one of those happening. EA, uh, Oculus and Sony have all signed up to agree to a standardised yeah. VR platform. Well, that's what you need because currently by saying cancelling Minecraft VR is stupid. Yep. We, we're, we're getting Cancelling anything yeah. Oculus <laughs> specific is fine. Yep. Hello. Um, yeah. Belinsky made it clear up front that he uh, participated in an early round of venture capital uh, funding for Oculus VR and said that he stands to make a very sizable chunk of money from the Facebook buyout. To me, a very sizable chunk of money from a £2 billion pound means he was at least 10 20% per uh, owner. Either way, is a cock for calling Notch a pouty kid because of that. Yes. That statistic alone is just. No, no, no. I think. I think he was, he was just being Cliff Blensky uh, <laughs> and, and immediately jumping on. He's he can't help himself. He's got to get in on the hype. When there's a hype, when there's a big story, he's got to get his name involved. He's out Molyneux, Molyneux. Yeah, he <laughs> he has become this generation's Molyneux. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to think that any kind of PR or kind of blog just thinks. Oh, there's a slightly contentious issue. Let's go to Cliff. Yeah. It used to be Molyneux, but now it's Cliff. Although Molyneux, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll save Molyneux we'll back back after Molyneux. the song. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, so Notch responded to Cliff calling him a pouty child by just going, I'm sorry, I'm not. I stand by my values and I don't care if you can call me a pouty child. I will continue to stay by my values because they are my fucking values. Yeah. Something along the lines of you feel free to call me names. Yeah, feel free to call me names. He actually made Cliff sound like more of a bellend than he is, which is quite impressive, really. I didn't know that Cliff actually had stake in Oculus. Yeah. That changes it a that lot. That changes a that lot from, of... Yeah. Yeah. That comes from the kind of thing of, I've got my money, I don't give a shit about the rest of you. Yeah. That really is a bit petty in it at that point but um, on the subject of Molyneux which you mentioned earlier Molyneux has been in the news quite a bit recently well do we not want to stick us on because yeah alright then music and then Molyneux music and then Molyneux that sounds like a good idea
What did we listen to? Okay, that song was either <laughs> <laughs> Never End Never Ending uh, Faint OST which is from the fa- the game Faint <laughs> or <laughs> GA Metal by Deoxys <laughs> or both. We ripped into the the, the after the, 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 the talky thingy people for not being able to make up their mind. <laughs> And then, literally, you had a choice of two. You just have to flip a coin and go, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> you just read out both. I'll play both. Oh, there we go. Job done. You've so made it, a decision, it, 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 was, it was both of them. <laughs> thank me. you for uh, thank you to Trevor for not only providing both yeah. of them, but actually playing them in Beat Hazard Ultra on Psychotic... Or suicidal, or whatever the fucking top level of that game is. I can't play the that damn game on easy. I can't play it sober. Pissed, I'm fine. I can't play it on easy. I, got, I, did, I tried. Yeah. Funnily enough, um, Trevor, Paddy's actually coming to Canada, so he'll come buy you a drink. <clears throat> You've made me have to buy somebody a drink. That's wrong. <laughs> I don't care. You don't actually live in Canada, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink! Uh, <laughs> well, we had news. Where did that go? It's there. Cool. Which one do you want to talk about? Because we've, d- d- we've done Belensky, we've done it the, the Oculus. You wanted to talk about Molyneux, didn't Mr. you? Mr. Molyneux. Mr. Molyneux. He's huh? been quite popular recently. He's been talkative. Yeah. Where is he? Have we even got him in here? He is in here. Peter. There we are. Yeah. Basically, he started off by saying he doesn't plan to retire, he's just going to die. Yeah, I like that mentality. Yeah, no, I'm I'm for that mentality. In my mind, what that says is I do what I love. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing it whether I, yeah. whether you want me to or not. I, I imagine one like some kind of life support <laughs> machine. Just saying about how rubbish everyone else is and how amazing. Yeah, but I've, sat, I've, got, I've got I've got Gabe doing the same mentality and just being sat on sat on his deathbed with a thousand and one machines attached to him going Microsoft sucks I can point out right Gabe Newell is not going to have a slow death that is a heart attack waiting to happen yeah he's pretty much one day somebody's going to say Gabe have you ever tried exercise and he'll go no this one time I took two steps like this and he's going to collapse in a heap <laughs> it's just that's just mean yeah, that's just how Gabe Newell's going to go mm. he's not a healthy man at least Peter Molyneux has that kind of I'm anemic and anorexic type look to him. He looks like he hasn't eaten in the last month. I bet he's vegan. Yeah. Right? He's just, he just strikes me as a vegan. But either way, <laughs> eating habits aside, he's going to play, I'm oh, sorry, create games until he dies, which I think is amazing because he has made some of the best games in history and now he's actually making up for those games in between. Yeah. So <laughs> he's made the best that he made some sellouts and now he's making up for the sellouts. Apart from the fact that Goddess was a bit shit. But he had the best intentions. He's now made it better apparently. Yeah. All credits to Wiped if... out everybody's save game. <laughs> Even if it's not a better game, I still have respect for him because he hasn't just phoned it in. He's tried to do something. No, no, no. He's trying to progress it. What I think annoys me most is that it's on... And again, this boils back to Steam. Not particularly Molyneux, but Steam. Yeah. It's Mm -hmm. on the Early Access Programme. Right? The Steam Early Access Programme is a programme that should not exist. I'm not bitter and I own it and I've never played it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no. Aside from the aside from Goddess, the early access program is wrong. The fact that you're paying for unfinished projects, it, you, you're paying for betas. At which point, mm. it's not a beta; it's a paid product. It's not something that should exist. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm in two minds because I betas I, should be free. Yes, but at the same time, I, I, I am going against everything I say here because I I'm the one that said, but. It's two different things, right? Let's jump on a bandwagon here. Goddess is a nice new concept. Mm-hmm. Goddess is indie. Yep. Goddess It's a bit of a fuck up right now. But it's being fixed. Yeah. 
those things I don't mind paying for in advance because it's an indie developer. But it, but it could have launched as a less feature rich, lower price mark. I'm not sure it could given its scope. It's a big, big game and it's, it takes a lot of effort and it relies on lots of people playing together. And if yeah, you don't but, have those but it could have account. launched at a lower price mark as a less feature rich, feature rich product and then added expansion packs later down the line that you purchased. Fuck off a year. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't it, want that to add to my game. It's an old style game. It's just what he's done is he said, This is my game. Take it or leave say, it. No, 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 like no. no. The, 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 the goddess thing is one thing, but the, the entire early access program is bust. Because people are piling out shovelware that, that, that they never intend to finish and never taking it out of early access. I, I am trying to remember the name of what this is. It's something hacking. And it's a form of marketing. Basically, what you do is you release something that isn't quite finished and you build it... Gmail! You build it to the specifications of the people that are playing a game. So he might not have had these intentions for Goddess to start with, but given the people that have played it, he's realised yeah, that maybe, that's the but, way they want to go. But Gmail. Gmail was the prime example of something that never... Ev- Has Gmail actually come out of beta yet? I don't know. Officially. I'm going to say Yes. I don't think it has. They're selling it to businesses, so I'm going to say yes. They sold it to businesses before it came out of beta. <laughs> Probably so, but still. They, no, no, they, they, they did. They were selling Gmail business, Gmail business beta. I was involved in looking in that. Uh, but the, the entire alpha program it annoys me, and Goddess annoys me for that reason, and I, 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 I'm sorry, that's just... Me. I'm, I'm um, all on board the alphas because I think a fool and his money is easily parted. If you don't look into a game or you don't have any kind of involvement in a game, then fair enough, you deserve to be parted with your cash. But a Peter Molyneux game based on a god sim, based on what is essentially the black and white franchise, because it kind of is what he's yeah, doing there. That had to be rewritten to the point where they had to wipe out all existing yeah, yeah. saves. Yeah, I'm not saying he was going to get it right first time, but I would be willing to put money into that because I think Molyneux deserves a chance to be indie again. I'm happy to fund that. And all I think is just take your goddess game and allow me to put a creature in there that will rip the shit out of my minions if they don't do what I I don't when he's still making statements like the fate of the god game genre depends on the success (laughs) of goddess. In his defence... No, it doesn't! There is feck all of the god games. Yeah. It's not that it relies on him, it's just the fact that it doesn't he exist. is the god game genre. There is no one else. Yeah, it, 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 it's just that the god game genre is dead. Yeah. And nobody else is trying to revive it just yet because you're still around, you pretentious yeah. bald cunt. Just die and let other people take over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was really mean. That was, that was too far. I Really? I, yeah, a little bit too far. I don't wish anyone death. I told I, I was just yeah. wanting to get out of the way because he's a pretentious bald cunt. He is pretentious and he does say things that are a bit above his station. But at the same time, he gave us half of the games that every other game is based on. I don't I don't discount his legacy. His legacy yeah. is incredible. His recent performance and even his performance since separating from Microsoft. The 22 cans projects have not it's been spectacular. Give a guy three dimensions and it all goes horribly wrong, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. He, He's got too much imagination for the capabilities of the machine. The machines have made his imagination possible. And his imagination is kind of... <laughs> no, his imagination is still 2D. Well, I'd give him isometric. That is yeah. his... I know black and white wasn't, but black and white was his downfall. His imagination is 86. His capabilities are 2013. Yeah. And it just doesn't work. Well, th- th- look at it this way, right? He made some awesome games. He did. Yeah, he did. No, I he don't know. He made black and white, which were 3D, but black and white, I feel like, were the downturn. Much like I feel like Command & Conquer, when it hit, reached yeah. proper 3D, it was its downfall. It started to turn a bit. I'm still on your hobgoblin. Okay. You started to think that it's just not quite going down the same track anymore. No. Command and Conquer when it went 3D was a bit wrong and then they went the 3D and made a first person shooter and that was just 
wrong. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that first person uh, shooter. Renegade was wrong. If, have you played it? Yes. It, it was freaking brilliant. It was brilliant. It was just too far ahead of its time. It was I brilliant, know, as but bad it was, as that sounds. It was, was brilliant, but it was also wrong because it was janky and it didn't work. It did. It didn't. I played it across a network. It worked. No, no, no. It, it did. was a good game. No, it, it may have worked across a network. I tried to take it online. Yeah, that might have been where it failed. <laughs> but the actual gameplay... Uh, we got a tanky one. Yeah, the gameplay and the gameplay mechanic worked well. You just had to... The hand of nod was a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Whenever you hear... Yes! Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no. Hand of nod was the temple, wasn't it? Yeah, that had the laser beam that no, fired that, that was the obelisk. The Hand of Nod was just the temple. The obelisk was the thing that went, Zzzz! and he realised, <laughs> we're going to die. <laughs> and then everything went red. But yeah. I, I think Command & Conquer Renegade was actually quite a good game. I, I, liked, I liked Renegade, it just didn't didn't quite yeah. work. There, there in wasn't, the, it was before online gameplay was massive. It was Yeah, it was before online gameplay was massive, and it was about the same time that games were... Get, uh, that first-person shooters on the PC were getting better graphics, and it was in that middle ground where it had put the effort into the online, but hadn't put enough effort into the online. Yeah. And, well, not, but uh, not at the that, expense of the graphics, and the graphics were shit. Not only that, but they had vehicles, and it was very much the time of it was small battlefield. strategic groups. It was, yeah, it was which, Battlefield pre-Battlefield, if you think about it. Yeah, it kind of was. But they had the Quake aspect of, sorry, Quake Wars aspect of, I'm going to have to buy this shit. Yeah. Which, I don't know, there's something about it. I, I enjoyed that game, and I'm sure I'd enjoy it more now. I think I think there needs to be a nostalgic reboot of there this game. There has been. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've been put to the test now. <laughs> we need to play it. Yeah, we shall. Why not? Yeah. Fuck it. You can uh, shoot the general in the face. It's fine. I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> That'll do. Um, but Molly, yeah, we, 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 I'm do- I'm done insulting him. He's being talkative. He's been incredibly talkative this week. Um, one thing he said is never underestimate Nintendo. And I agree with him. This is one of the things I, I'm i pissed off at them because I bought a Wii U and the, that, 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 that's the reason enough to be pissed off at Nintendo. Yeah, A company with that many millions of millions in the yeah. bank you have to just yeah. pay attention to. A company that is safe until 2050. Well, that, Even if that's they, if they... Lose two and a half million yeah. a year or something? If they continue to lose uh, uh, money at twice the rate that they are currently using, uh, losing money per year, yeah. so they'd have to double the amount of loss per yeah. year that they are currently taking. Yeah. Which, at which point, Nintendo, I have a great business idea. Come see me, I'll help you lose that other two and a half million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd have to lose money at double the rate that they're currently losing it to be out of backlog of uh, finances. That was a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be out of monies. Yeah, <laughs> to run out of war chest money by 2050. Yeah, it's crazy. They have that much in the bank that they can just piss it up the wall. In my mind, they must have sold a lot of playing cards when they first started out. It's not a- the ones that they, they sold a NES as well. I mean, that must have done well too. But. It's not the ones that they sold when they were starting out. It's the ones that they're still fucking selling. <laughs> because all of these little companies that Nintendo started out still exist. It's like Sega and the fact that Sega still technically exists because of Plachinko machines. <laughs> Yeah. That Sorry. That shouldn't Palinko be machines. Yeah, not not Palinko. Am I right in thinking kind of pinball esque type? Ah, uh, you uh, Peggle. Yeah. You're closer to Peggle than pinball machine. Cool. There's no kicking mama though, is it? No. Kicking mama is. Kicking mama was epic. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Molyneux is not happy. He doesn't. He also doesn't think the indie era. This is. Last. This is. This. This was his. Uh, it, but I'm with him. I'm not. I am. I'm with him just because the fact that he's saying the whole indie game thing is going the to recycle. He says the indie golden age won't last, and 
I kind of agree with him to a point. Yeah. He's arguing that the, the whole music idea of you have punk gets a surge in the, and in suddenly the, manufactured yeah. Indie pop is out. really popular at the minute, so everybody in there... Uh, and their dog is trying to brand themselves as indie, and yes, I agree with him at that point that everybody is trying to somehow classify themselves as indie because indie is seen as the in yeah. thing right now. Get on the bandwagon. However, and I really mm. don't want to say this next sentence because I can't say it without sounding like a hipster cunt. The true indie scene. Oh. <laughs> yes. Paddy is a big fan of Gone Home. He likes his fixie bike and he walks a sausage dog. Oh, fuck, I just described my life. <laughs> Except for the Gone Home bit. <laughs> yeah. But anybody that classified themselves as indie <laughs> before it became popular to become indie, and I don't know how I can say that without sounding like a hipster cunt, and I... I'm sorry, but you know what I'm you know what oh, I'm trying to get at, don't yeah, you? Yeah, Paddy was indie before it was cool. No, you, you know what I'm trying to get at. You, you know where I'm going with this. Yeah. And that's uh and Indie isn't a type of game. Indie is just I'm an independent developer. The fact yeah. Activision is technically Activision an indie. is technically an indie. So there we go. That sums up the indie in a nutshell. But I mean indie now, it's kinda of like indie music. Indie music at one point meant a style of music. It meant independent. It meant independent of a record developer. Yeah, but it became a style. It then of music. became a classification of style. Yeah, which is what indie games have just become now. Yeah. And then the future is it becomes fuck all because no yeah. indie exists anymore. You don't get indie like you used to get indie. No. And that's where he sees it going. And I can see it happening. I, I'm no, no doubt there's going to be cycles because sometimes a fad catches on, which is... I don't think it I don't think it will happen quite the same way it did in music. And I can see he's making the same connection. And yeah, he's making that connection that indie just became a genre and at which point that genre lost its popularity and people stopped making indie-type games. Hmm. But indie games don't mean that to... The majority of gamers, well, indie. It, you say that, but sorry. we're not the majority. That's the problem. Where are those people that go, yeah, games are better on vinyl. That was a mixture of two statements, right there. Yeah, um, we are those people, unfortunately. And the, the, whenever a new genre comes along, so genre indie now isn't a genre, which is annoying because it's no, not. it's not. It's not a genre. It's a classification. Yeah, no, but it is a genre. It's not. No, it's it's not, but you're a vinyl listening indie gamer, right? Put this into context. Yeah, I know, I know where you're going. Indie I, I'm is just, now a genre. I'm just not willing to accept it. Yeah, indie is now a genre, much to our dismay. And unfortunately, people go, I'm going to make an indie game because it'll make me money. And they will try and exploit it for all the cash in the world. No, I, I know where he's coming from. I just think he. Uh, I, I just. Yeah. I've got enough hope in humanity left. I haven't completely lost my hope in humanity to think that he's wrong. Okay. Just remember that music is now in MP3 format and it sounds like shit. It doesn't. It does. It sounds better. It doesn't, though. It, it does. It really doesn't. Nobody in the history of the world has said, you know what I really love? MP3s, they sound awesome. No, they, no, no, no. They, they, they like flak files. Yes. <laughs> That's that's where the posh kids are, right? If you like your music, you listen to lossless compression. But this is the point. <laughs> At which point you've just dropped yourself to an entirely... You've just jumped yourself to an entirely new level of I'm hipster. a snob, right? Yeah. I, I admit I'm a dick. I have the fixie bike. I, I have the silly. I have the 5.1 headset. Yeah. And I have uh, lossless audio with 5.1 compression on it so that I have a full... And it sounds better. And I am... Um, Happy enough to say that the, the the only album I have ever bought in a high enough quality <laughs> to make that headset worth actually owning is Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. Right. There are many, many different albums that will sound brilliant on there without compression. Yeah. And to the point where there has been a Kickstarter campaign to launch a lossless audio device. Mm that you can hook into your stereo system and it will sound amazing. Yeah. You hook into earphones it will sound amazing. And it got funded because there is always room for people that enjoy... Music. Yeah. Those enjoy sound. Yeah. Jeff Wayne, like 
In fact, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Anybody who hasn't listened to Jeff Wayne's War of the World, I don't care which version you listen to, whether it's the anniversary, the yeah, uh, the original, uh, the version that's got Gary fucking Barlow in it, uh, <laughs> whatever you listen to, just listen to it. It's epic. Cool. I'll add that to my list. But yeah, Call of Duty. Yeah, is Little Mix. It's One Direction. Yeah, it's all that shit that people. Really hate, but for some but, reason but, 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 succeeds. Yeah. No, everybody hates it, but at the same time, the major everybody vocal hates it. Yeah. But those same- that love their music would never say, "I love a One Direction." To be song. fair, I listened to Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. At the same time, I listened to the Daily Dose. The Daily Dose is the breakfast show on Capital Radio. The uh, the generic public radio station here in Hull. It plays Little Mix, uh, J Lo, Beyonce. Heard the selfie song. I haven't heard the selfie song. It's fucking awful. I had the. Mis- I'll probably hear it some point in the morning because the DJs on that show are fucking hilarious. Well, it was Radio One I was listening. To. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Listen to Capital in the morning. They're fucking... Yeah. Their daily dose is brilliant. I'm driving down south. Yeah. I needed something that would stay on, so I put radio on them. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. You got the a selfie song. Just don't. Is it like the, uh, the, the, the KFC song? It's some girl with a Californian accent. It's like, yeah, I was taking this game. Did you hear yeah. that? Did ah, you? Let me take a selfie. And then some... Sh- Stupid music comes in, which has clearly been manufactured on some kind of computer. It sounds like a fax machine having oh, sex. No, it's no, just... no. What, what was it? Fucking the uh, the song, bang but bang it... song from uh, Kill Bill. Yeah, I that, that's actually like that's this. actually been released as a remix. That's actually been re-released as a new song, and basically they played the clip. Uh, do you get from some the dubstep in between, and then yeah, it k- cuts out some dubstep in between. A fax machine goes on. Yeah. somebody receives some, and then then they cut back to the main song, and then they cut back to dubstep, and then they cut back to the main song, and then it's apparently a new track, and it's not. It's, it's bullshit. Uh, uh, do you feel old when you listen to the radio now? Yes, because this is essentially what's going to happen in the gaming world. Somebody's going to release a game, and you go, "These whippersnappers don't know. Look at those quick time events." And that's how your life is going to be. I'm foreseeing Sonic. Sonic will be the Sonic will, will be spliced, and the Emerald stages will be replaced with new gameplay, new fantastic, <laughs> new techniques of uh, playing. <laughs> is it bad that I was thinking earlier when I something he had up somewhere in here about Sonic? I was thinking Sonic. It's about time Sonic grows up. Put Sonic in a real world environment, like a gritty kind of zombie esque. Survival game. I think Sonic well, would thrive that, in no, that kind of thing. That was actually one of the stories that we we decided we wouldn't talk about, but it's kind of one of those things that the explanation of the Sonic Boom universe, where they've redesigned <coughs> Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, and all that lot. They they they're reimagining them. Yeah. And they look messier. They look less. Kept less and cartoony and less. Well, they they, they still look yeah. cartoony, but they look like they've actually been through a battle. At the end of the day, because Does Sonic quite... have a spike out of place. No, Sonic has uh, athletic tape around his uh, <laughs> wrists and ankles where he's actually worn himself out and injured himself, and having nice. to use that tape to hold himself in place, and for some reason has a scar. That look makes him look a bit like Nathan Drake, but that's hipster bust. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, Knuckles looks like he's been on steroids and has the the, the chest that's three foot wider yeah. than his actual uh, rest of his body is. I just think it's just create a game that is Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, but just make him human. Yeah, it's really, it's like literally one skinny guy that can run really fast. Basically, you want. Let's, let's go through this. Yeah. You could have someone like Mike Tyson mm-hmm. as Knuckles. You could have Usain Bolt as Sonic. Yep. I'm not sure who Tails would be. The Jetman. The guy who puts a jet on his back yeah. and flies around. He could be Tails. 
I'm all out of ideas now. And they go around saving fairy animals. No, this doesn't work. Saving humans from zombies. I just think Sonic could come into the adult world a bit because, let's be honest, Sonic fans are older. Yeah, we are. Nobody young has ever gone, you know what I really love? Sonic games. Because yeah. nobody young has ever experienced a good Sonic game. No, no, they haven't. No, they haven't. No, there's been nothing that stand out. Nostalgia has held the score up quite a bit. Nostalgia has held the score up quite a bit. The last good Sonic game was Sonic Generations. The previous and even good... nostalgia held that up. Yeah. If you take Sonic Generations out of the equation, the last good Sonic game was Sonic uh, on Two. the Wii. <laughs> no, no, no. What was the Wii one? Sonic Colors. Because they took it back to its 2D origins. But still, the best one. And that, and that again, taking it into 2D origins, it's taking it back to nostalgia. Can I, can I say the best ones were on the Mega Drive? Yes, you can. Yeah. At which point, if your best mm, game... At the same time, the, Adventures, uh, the Sonic Adventures series, 1 and 2, were very good. But still. As good as a 3D version of Sonic yeah. could be. It's like Mario, for example. Mario Evolved. Yeah. You can't say the best Mario game was the original Mario. No, it was Galaxy 2. Yeah. The good, there were some good ones in 2D, but it Galaxy evolved. has been the best Mario of all time. Yeah. Zelda. Zelda Evolved. Sonic? No, Sonic. That, that Zelda didn't evolve. It did. Zelda evolved, but it actually its best is still in the 2D top-down view. Ocarina. It's pretty fucking epic. It is epic, but I still prefer the previous one. Well, that's that's right, but still, every single Zelda has been critically acclaimed. Oh no, I, I don't I don't yeah. discount that, but I'm saying personally, that's I, your favorite. Yeah. yeah. So so Zelda and Mario evolved into 3D. Sonic never did. Sonic <laughs> stuck to the same principles. It just put them into a so- extra dimension. Sonic it kind of really... Sonic fell over his own fucking speed. Sonic yeah. fell apart when he, with his own with his own speed. Speed can only could only be conveyed in the way that it was in a two D environment. The fact that the moment that you went three D, you have to have control. Well, the moment you have to have control, you can you can't have control and speed at the same time. I don't want to sound a bit too pretentious, but he's a two dimensional character. He yeah. doesn't have anything other than his speed. <laughs> There is nothing that endears you to Sonic. Oh, he saves but no, no. animals. But the, no, not really. There's no, there's nothing to endear you to, Son- uh, to Mario at the same time. His princess is in the other damn castle. Poor guy. All that effort. He's the other castle. Sonic never had to deal with that. He just collected rings. He just went for shiny things. No, I'm not, I'm not buying that. Anyway. Uh, but yeah. So Mario had... Tactics. It had manoeuvres. It had even even simply the fact that you could ignore that one turtle and uh, hit the second one, which would bounce the shell off a, a set of steps and back into the other one to get you extra points. That was tactics. Yeah. Sonic had pure speed, which meant that the moment you took put three D into the environment and you had to put control into it, you can't finesse speed. The, the, Whereas the Mario, yeah, wasn't there, yeah. Was it? It was at which point Mario's, you can finesse control. Yeah. And so three D works. Thing and you tap on your back that fires water, and you can be a paper Mario. You can be. This is the problem: is they were just more creative. Yeah. They just fixed the problem. How did we get to Sonic and Mario? I don't know. I'm completely lost. Um. Yeah. We were on Molyneux. We should probably go to Candy Crush. It's a very quick one. But. <laughs> okay, Candy Crush. Yeah, let's quickly do Candy Crush. Uh, Candy Crush thought they were worth $7.6 billion, uh, because they were going to list themselves an IPO. King.com were going to go IPO and we were worth $7.6 billion. Yeah, it turns out they're not. And then they uh, they launched on their IPO on the 26th and by the 27th they were... They, they launched at 22. Uh, Five dollars per share. By the end of the first day, they were at nineteen dollars per share. It's gone down more. By the end of the second day, which was yesterday, uh, which is today, they were at seventeen dollars per share. Yeah. So now is probably a good time to buy the shares. Now is it probably? I'd actually wait till tomorrow. I reckon they'll drop again tomorrow. 
It can't. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's the weekend. They were. It's American. No, no, there's another six hours before... Oh, of course, yeah. So we got it could fall further. Then. It could fall further by the time we've finished recording this. <laughs> but it will potentially. Monday, I reckon it's going to go up. I reckon Monday it'll start going back up. I reckon the weekend would be the time to buy King.com shares because King.com are not just known for Candy Crush. Candy Crush has made them popular in the masses. But they're a gambling site and gamblers always make the house money. And King.com is the house. Yes. Always bet on the house. They're going to make money out of this, regardless. Yeah. I mean, they've been going for years as well. Yeah. It's just that Candy Crush was their first big success. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a social game and all of these kind of social people, games. People, social games fall apart because people get bored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I hate Candy Crush. I mean, I despise it with a passion. Pet Rescue Saga's worse. Really? Oh, does it give you the whole, your cat's going to die if you don't Not do quite, this. but it says it's basically, it's, imagine Candy Crush, but you have to, instead of getting cook, getting nuts to the bottom of the screen, on some of the screens, you have to get puppies and kittens. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's match three with puppies and kittens. What happens then? Do they just get... Annihilated when you line Basically, up. Basically, the game ends and they drop to the bottom, and then that's it. But if you line up three cats, they don't destroy each other. Oh, I feel <laughs> like they missed a trick there. They did. Uh, um, I have right. no idea where we're going. I gotta right. admit, I've drank a little bit too much. Uh, yeah. We're gonna pause. That's a bad idea. It, no, it's not. I, I love this. Up, I think this should be the last story. You can. Oh, we'll go through the award ceremonies, yeah. Right then, to wrap it up. Uh, seeing as we've stuck this to things we know uh, and things that we have opinions on, there's three sets of award ceremonies happened in the last three weeks. Yeah. The first was the BAFTAs. Which, let's be honest, are the best. They are. Come on, GDC's got nothing on BAFTAs. In the gaming circles, the GDCs are heralded higher than the BAFTAs. Oh, fuck off. We're British. BAFTAs win. <laughs> right? That's the way it works. Okay. So anyway. Then, let's start with the most important of all of the awards. The best British game. Hells yeah. Went to Grand Theft Auto V. That truly British game where you're an American. And yeah, you yeah, beat the no, no, you're, other you're, Americans. You're three Americans. <laughs> Yeah. You're not one American, you're three Americans in an American city. Yeah, I think the definition of British game is being pushed slightly here. It's based on the developer, and it was developed by, well, 2K, which are British. It's Rockstar, isn't it? Rockstar. Yeah, 2K publishers. Sorry, Rockstar Rockstar North. Yeah. And uh, are in Scotland. Yeah, which... So, not British. They're very... They're yeah. Scottish. Oh, no, no, they are British, but not for much longer, because the Scottish will seek their independence. No, they, they, they won't get it. Well, they'll seek it, and if they get it, their country will fall apart. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> their country will obliterate from the inside out. Swing and roundabouts, really. Their, their country oh. will destroy itself. It... And then we'll conquer the ginger bastards. Or put up a wall. Depending <laughs> on how we're feeling on that day. I hope we put up a wall. <laughs> Fuck your Scottish We've guns. We've already got the foundations. We can just... So, oh, yeah, you Scottish bastard. You don't want our pound. <laughs> I'm marrying into that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the best action... So I shouldn't turn up in an anti-Scotland <laughs> thing at the wedding. Probably not good. Um, I'm still searching for a top well, The bit I love is, right, the people that have moved out of Scotland can't vote on it, despite the fact they will be affected by it. Yeah. I mean, that is backwards. But anyway, best action-adventure game was Last of Us. No, I'm not joking. I'm still searching for a cane and a top hat for your wedding. Again? The night do? Go nuts? <laughs> no, no, no. Day do. No. <laughs> day do, I'll beat you with the cane. Or worse still, Fiona will beat you with the cane. Um, the best action-adventure game is uh, Last of Us, which everyone knew. Yep. Best music went to Bioshock Infinite, which... I still haven't played, so I'm not going to question. Yeah, it didn't stand out for music for me, but... I, maybe I missed it. I I don't know the game. Best story, yeah. Last of Us. Yeah. Best strategy and simulation. Papers, please. Didn't expect that. No, best best strategy. 
because the strategy is you have to feed your people at the end of the yeah. day. You have to make the qu- you have to make the quarter at the end of the day to make the wages to make your fit. So there is a lot yeah. of strategy involved in papers, please. When yeah, you think about it, it makes you think. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, best artistic, but a good strategy does. Yeah. Artistic Achievement Award went to Terraway. Mm-hmm. Audio Achievement went to Last of Us. Yeah, I buy that. That yeah. That's one game where good. audio is really key. Yeah. Best Sports Game FIFA, Best Family Game Terraway, Game Innovation Award, Brothers, A Tale of Two yeah, Sons. Definitely. Uh, best Mobile Handheld Game was Terraway again. BAFTA Ones to Watch was Size Does Matter. That is awesome. I can't say I'm aware of it. Size Does Matter is the one... I thought... I'm pretty sure that's the one where things... You can rescale anything in the game. I think it may have been previously known in its beta phase as scale. I thought it was a narrative version of Max Clifford's trial. (laughs) (laughs) Too far? Yeah. Anyone non-British won't understand that one, but... But anyway, yeah. So you can... You've got a gun that's like a bolt gun and you can rescale anything in in the oh, game cool. environment and you've got to do that to solve puzzles so you can shrink and uh, resize various things around the environment. Yep, that sounds pretty awesome. Um, game Design Awards, Grand Theft Auto 5, which let's be honest, yeah. I can't argue. Best Multiplayer again, Grand Theft Auto 5, is a difficult one to argue with. Yep. Best Debut Game is Gone Home. That's you a can't. lie. It's not no. a game. Um <laughs> Fuck off. It's uh, not a game. It's not a game. There okay, is nothing yeah, like, gamey about that game. Okay. But best debut. Yeah. For a company. Yeah, best debut, fine. It's had so much promotion, you can't argue with best debut. It's the game element that I'm confused with. Anyway, let's move on. Best game overall. If I said this is the best book in the world and I handed you a vinyl, you'd be confused as fuck. And that is pretty much what they've done, right? There's okay, nothing anyway, gamey move about on. that game. <laughs> The best game overall is Last of Us, which again is pretty awesome. Um, best performer is Ashley Johnson. I've no idea who Ashley Johnson is, but yes, you're awesome, damn it. I want to Google that because I don't know who Ashley Johnson is yeah. either. I'm surprised. I'm assuming she's female. <laughs> yeah, but I would guess so as well with a name like Ashley. Um, and she is. I... She was in Ben 10. La- she was Ellie. What? She was Ellie in Last of Us. I thought Ellie was played by somebody else. No, no, she's just the character is based on uh, the, the, the 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 female that you're thinking of that's recently came out. I forgot her name. Yeah. Is it Ellen Page? Is it? Ellen Page. That's the one you're thinking of. Ellen Page. I thought it was her. No, it's not. The character just look, the yeah. <laughs> character just looks a lot like. Ellen oh, I Page. feel really bad now because I genuinely thought Ellen Page had played Ellie. No, <laughs> Ellen Page was in Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. I thought, God, she's been busy this year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ashley, unfortunate love. We all think you're Ellen Page. <laughs> but that seriously. Yeah. But that is Last of Us left behind. Where's the original? There's the Last of Us. Yeah. Oh, that's... I genuinely thought it was Ellen Page. How did you not know? We've been through this numerous times. I just not paid any attention at all, clearly. Um, We have other award shows. Yeah, two other award shows. The IGDAs, which is the Independent Games Developer Federation... uh, The Independent Games Federation Developer Awards. (laughs) That's a mouthful. Yeah. Um, So we have this... Seamus McNulty Grand Prize. Nally, but I'll let you off. Uh, winner was Papers, Please. So. Uh, nominees for that were Device 6, Don't Starve, Jazz Punk, Papers, Please. <laughs> Dominique Pamplemouse in It's All Over Once, The Fat Lady Sings. And Stanley Parable. Yeah. Uh, I love the fact you missed that one. Just I, the I just wanted name. you to say it. Um, excellence in Narrative went to Papers, Please. Pretty much exactly the same again, but with yep. Paralette instead of jazz punk and the yaug instead of don't starve yep that's some quick analysis right there <laughs> that's <laughs> a very excellent in audio went to device six so yeah the, the, 
I think we should just stick with the winners for this. Yeah, excellence in design, papers, papers please. Papers, please. Again. You can't question it for an indie. I, you, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. There's nothing like it. Uh, the, the fact that the game makes you think about what you're doing and you don't realise yeah. you're thinking about what you're doing. The right? Nuova Award, which I'm guessing is for somebody new, yeah. um, is to Luxuria Superbia, which I've no idea what no, it is. I've never heard of, but now I want to play it. Yeah, but there are lots of names in there we do rec- uh, do recognise, like Dominique Pamplemouse yeah. and uh, Papers, Please, and not to mention Perfect Woman. And Save the Debt. And Save the Debt. Uh, excellent in visual art was Garogoras. Sorry, Garogora. Garogoa. I don't know what Garogoas is, but Garogoa is the name. Um, also in there was Device 6, uh, Perfect Stride, and the Banner Saga. Best student game was Risk of Rain. That looks epic. I imagine it's just... Weird. It looks absolutely epic. It's not just a choice between should I take an anorak out today or... No. No, okay. Clearly it does straight. look brilliant. And the GDC awards, because GDC was last week. And GDC Game of the is, yeah. Games Developer Conference. Um, Game of the Year went to Last of Us. Yep. Uh, ahead of Gone Home, GTA Five. Super Mario, 3D World, and Tomb Raider. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleading. Will somebody please play Gone Home and let me know what they think? Because this is getting beyond the joke now. I can't. You can't because I fucked it up for you. Because you have screwed but my I need opinion. But somebody else to, to play Gone Home and let me know what they think. Innovation Award, right, Winter Papers, I'm sorry. please. Trevor, Trevor, if you're listening still, I'll let buy me know. you the damn game. Gal will buy you a copy of Gone Home. Just play it. Um, so best audio went to Bioshock Infinite, which I think is ridiculous. Ahead of Forza, GTA Five, Saints Row, and Tear Away. This uh, is this is my reason, right? Grand Theft Auto Five. Yep. Is never going to win an audio award because it's not an audio game. Saints mm. Row, for the same reason, is not an audio yep. game. Forza could win it. Forza could win it. Best audio, yeah. yeah. On the same grounds that any uh, Battlefield game could win it. Exactly. But Bioshock, I just, I've played that game and there is nothing about it that made me think this is amazing audio. Uh, audially? Yeah. I, uh, Bioshock was just not an audio yeah. game. It wasn't the way it made it, yeah. Uh, best debut was the Fulbright Company with Gone Home, which, well done, that was a good debut, but it's a good debut because your marketing was freaking awesome. Your game was f- not a game. Shut up. Um, nominees was <laughs> Blue Man Shooter. Look, look at the best debuts. Stanley Parable, Kerbal Space Programme and State of Decay. That Any- should have won. Any one of those three should have won it. Kerbal Spurs... Uh, I, 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 won. No, any one of those three should have won. No, Kerbal Spurs... <laughs> Kerbal, program. Kerbal should have... Yeah, that, Kerbal is my personal favourite of the three. But I'd have gone for that, and as would most of the internet. And Stan... No, but Stanley Parable also would have been equally there for yes, most people. but this is getting referenced in nine out of ten threads on Reddit. I mean that is the, yeah, but you can't base your entire. You can. People are talking about it. It means it's a good game. Nobody is talking about Gone Home anymore. It yeah, has died a death. It is gone. People are also still talking about Stanley Parable. Yeah, but nobody's talking about Bioshock Infinite. So why the fuck did he get best audio? Uh, best design was Last of Us, which fair enough. Yeah, if it's one best game, Actually, then it's got one no, best design. No, 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 no. It got best game because of the overall kind okay, of Okay, the overall atmosphere. package. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, fair enough. But best design is... That is a fuck off. I The amount of pallets I had to move for her to jump on to move her across to somewhere because she couldn't swim. Fuck it. I'd have got us bloody armbands by now. Yeah. That wasn't as as, a yeah. good dynamic. There were a lot of things wrong with The Last of Us. The story made up for massive problems with gameplay. I'm I sorry, suppose, yeah. not massive. Small niggles. One of my favourite moments in the last three weeks, <laughs> sitting in a pub that I wasn't uh, a regular. So basically, I was down uh, down on site at a pub that I didn't know, having my having a burger, just sitting there, listening to two people on the other table explain they 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 were clearly just starting Last of Us. <laughs> 
Because they were explaining, you know the scene where, you know the part where you have to go in to uh, find the generator and then there's that boomer appears. Oh, like, that bit. Yeah. The boomer that you can't kill and you've just got to run past the fucker and open the door. I, after you, I killed it. You killed it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, this is the difference between me and you is, if it moves I will kill it. <laughs> That's how I work with these guys. Yeah, I, I tried a couple of times to kill it and just kept dying and thought, you know what, I I reckon I could get to that fucking door that I couldn't before open before, it, yeah. before it catches me. And I ran past it. And they mm. were explain. They were, they were having this discussion, they were having the exact same discussion at the bar. <laughs> that they, they were going by, how many ways do you get, how, how, how can you do it? And then it, and then it dawned on them. And it dawned on them right there in the pub in front of me. You don't have to kill it. You don't have to kill it. Yeah. And that that moment, that 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 flash of clarity in them. <laughs> and I just sat back and went, yeah. I, 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 I don't know if this is just a reflection on me, but I never made that. I never got that far. I literally, I first time. I pressed the switch, loads of things came, I shot them, I thought, fuck yeah, then this boomer came. Kicked seven years of shit out of me, as it does. Yeah. Second time, I thought, fuck it, I'll just run to the exit. So I flicked the switch, I ran, it spawned in a different place. Yeah. Right in front of where I need to be. So I thought, well, clearly the game's trying to screw me over, I'm just going to have to put a bit of effort in here. Yeah. So I just had various concoctions of things that exploded, and <laughs> used those against it, and yeah. it worked. Eventually it dies. I didn't think it was. That, I thought it was actually impossible to kill that particular boomer. No, I, I assumed that you could kill it after the fact that it kept spawning in places that stopped me from getting to the door. So I assumed that was the game's way of saying you have to kill this damn. No, thing. I, I, I tried numerous times to kill it and then went fuck it. I'm going to run past the bastard. <laughs> oh shit! I'm at the door because yeah. there's a cutscene that at the other side of the door looks like you're yeah. running away from something and. Yeah, clearly I got it very wrong. <laughs> uh, but we've got best downloadable game was Papers Please again. Many yeah. different things in there, including. But I think Gunner. brothers. Should, I think brothers should have won that. I, I've not played it. I can't judge. I, so. I, brothers or possibly Resogun. Resogun. Lo- Resogun was brilliant. Yeah. But just the fact it was a, f- a flash from the past, wasn't it? It was an old yeah. game brought for the future, yeah. which is nice. Uh, best handheld game was Legend of Zelda: A Link Between Two Worlds, which I don't think anybody. I think that should have gone to Fire Emblem. But to be fair, Ridiculous Fishing, which I bought live on podcast, yeah, was a pretty awesome game. When did I, I buy I, that? That was a good two months ago. Yeah, but what 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 did I buy it on? Is that on my phone? It's on your phone. Have I got ridiculous fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered. Uh, best narrative went to the last of us. I shouldn't be allowed a phone. It's, it is on your phone. I I I think I should buy it. Best sure. technology has gone for Dota Five because it's awesome. No, it's not. Hang on. Best technology. Who was it up against? It wins. No, fuck off. <laughs> Best technology that. up against Terraway, which was on the Vita and made full u- made full utility of all the options that were available to it on the Vita. Fuck off. There is no way that GTA 5 should have won over that. Excuse me. Um, it's, it's also up against Killzone Shadowfall, which made use of the uh, touchpad on the top of the uh, PlayStation 4 controller. Nobody cares. You can't play table tennis. I don't care if you can't play fucking table tennis. <laughs> there is fair, no you way. You can't play table tennis in GTA 5, but you can play tennis. You can do all sorts of different things. And... I'm sorry, bollocks. Best technology, if you're going to make a statement like that, then it has to go to one of those fucking two. <laughs> because Tearaway makes use <laughs> of the device's capabilities. Uh, the fact that you can manipulate things from the back touch screen and uh, the front touch screen and <laughs> all the buttons on the controller and the ga- kills on shadow floor as much as it pisses me off that little shitty little drone that does fuck all <laughs> for <Yeah>. most of <laughs> the game <laughs> most of the game the fact that you actually control that with the touchpad and it's 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 intuitive the way that you control it right I may have gone a bit <laughs> rosy there. Uh, 
best visual yeah. art went to Bioshock Infinite over DMC, Last of Us, Nino Kuni, and Tearaway. I'm not sure which one I'd have given it to in that category. No, to be fair, Bioshock, I'm going to get a sneeze. I think I think it could have gone to <laughs> any one of those those five could have won that category. It literally was a toy cost because what DM toy cost. What? You clearly said toy cost. <laughs> yeah. Coin toss. <laughs> toy cost. I've drank many beers. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it could have been any one of the five of them. Because Devil May Cry had its visual style, and it was a good visual style that, that broke away from the previous Devil May Crys, but harked back to them in numerous ways. Last of Us, it had a story to tell, so it stuck to a very rigid visual uh, art style. Nino Kuni, you can't beat. Studio Ghibli and they have their style and Tearaway at the same time it, it's it got the uh, the media molecule about it yeah I'm back but Bioshock is Bioshock style there is nothing yeah. new about it it was the same thing it was just in the sky but to be fair they, they do build that but they build it. They, they, they're built on the Bioshock style in the fact that we've taken Bioshock, we've put it in a different environment, <laughs> and we've made the environment make sense. The Skyhook. Yeah, well, this is the thing. where I was playing Bioshock, and Fiona walked in and went, wow, this game looks really good. Yeah. And then I killed someone, she went, actually, no, I've changed my mind. This is what annoyed me about Bioshock, is it built this world of, it's all about story, it's all about style, it's yeah. all about thingy, and then they, they introduced the fact that you're going to kill people and the story is ridiculous. That ruins but, but, but Bioshock. No, no, but Bioshock. It's Bioshock, but they've taken it to a new environment mm. and the new environment adds something. It, the it fact, was cool. The fact, what made Bioshock work, the original Bioshock work, was the environment. And the fact that everything made sense in the environment. When you were stuck... I remember a scene I'm sure I remember a scene in the original Bioshock when you were in a corridor between two major buildings and the corridor collapsed on you and the water rushed in rushing in yeah yeah that works because of the environment and the skyhook in Infinite even though I haven't played Infinite I've seen the skyhook scenes and for me they work because of the environment yeah. that you're in that's one problem with the skyhook yeah Half the time you look at where you want to connect to and you press the freaking button and you just jump on the spot. Ah, I didn't realise it was quite that simple. It is not. It's, you're supposed to point and look and it says attach and you press and you jump and you hook on. Great. It's not responsive enough. So half the time you go, right, I want to jump to there. Fucking hurry up, this thing's chasing me. Come on. And it goes attach. You press a button and you jump. It's not quick enough. It, it ruined the game for me. To a point where I end up hopping on the spot multiple times. I even jumped off a ledge okay, no, and no, no. died. No, but anyway, I, visual no. art. Bioshock doesn't deserve it. I do, I, do, I, I think... I, for me, <clears> having <throat> not played Infinite and not having had that quirk, it would have gone to any one of the five. I think it's easy to make... I know this sounds ridiculous. It's easy to make a ridiculous world. Yeah. So Bioshock was this very much floating in the sky type thing. Once you got that concept, everything else was just a building floating in the sky. Yeah. There's nothing new about it. It was just a building floating so in the sky. So at that Oops, point, everywhere. it goes to uh, Last of Us, Nino Kuni, and Tearaway. Well, or DMC. Yeah. DMC is always DMC. Yeah. I've not played it, so I can't judge too much because I've not gone into it. Last of Us is very much the, this is a desolate world. It's yeah, all been... Yeah, de degradation of human yeah, race. it's all fallen apart. So Nino Kuni, which is, uh, is just Studio another... Ghibli. Yeah, but is it just another anime style? No, no, no. Studio Ghibli is a different anime style altogether. Yeah, I know they have their own style, but is it their usual st it style? Is, it, is a, it is a Studio Ghibli film turned into a game. Right. That means nothing to me. But have I have seen, it and I should probably play it. Yeah, have you, have you seen uh, uh, Princess Mononoke? 
No, no, you've lost. Don't even try this, right? <laughs> this is going to end in tears. Um, but terrible. Go egg. watch Princess Mononoke, at Howl's Moving Castle, and uh, My Neighbor Toroto. This and watch them by the end of this weekend, or I will disown you. These are all just words. A tearaway, again, not played it, but I assume it's very much the media molecule style. Yeah. Of, yeah. It so, is. Of all of those things, if I could guess, based on my previous knowledge, I would say tearaway is probably... I'd go... If, if I had to pick between the... If I had to use your justification for it, it would have gone to Nino Kuni. Fair enough. That's fine. I just don't think Bioshock deserves it. Because Bioshock, to me, felt very much like Bioshock, but in a different place. Yeah, your justification, your logic, it would have gone to Nino Kuni over Tearaway. Because Tearaway is just a rip-off of uh, Little Big Planet. That's fine. I'm happy to justify that, but Bioshock, I suppose it's the same principle. Yeah. Tearaway is like that, as Bioshock Infinite is to Bioshock. Yeah. It's just the same thing, they just flipped it a bit yeah. every single character had the same style yeah everything was still the same it was just slightly different ok and yeah. the last few awards from that show were audience award winner was Ke- uh, was Kerbal Space Programme I still need to play that game yeah I it really want amazing. to play we need to play it drunkenly we need to do it that <laughs> needs to be our it's next simulator drunken... all over again yeah right? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed Bridge Simulator because we really did. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they've all gone online now. Yeah, They're all we, there. We may have drank a little bit too much that night. A Lifetime Achievement Award went to uh, the former chairman <laughs> and CEO of computer, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment, Ken Karagi. Kutaragi. Kutaragi. Yeah, why not? Pioneer Awards went to League of Legends creators Brandon Beck and Mark Merrill. Yeah, they deserve it. They have really... Pioneered an entire it's genre. Ridiculous what they've done, yeah. They really helped. The the the, the Dota genre was there. The, the, let's not overreg this. The, the Dota genre already existed before yeah. they went off and made League of Legends, but they, they were also it. involved in the creation of Dota. Yeah. Not only that, but the, the the amount of community support they yeah. have got everything the community has said they've taken on board. They, it's made a massive they, difference. Well, they, they, they've made the entire policing of that game community-driven. Yeah. So the, so they have the ombudsman. So when players start acting like dicks, it's the play, it's other players that sort them out. That sort them out. And just, they might, yeah. I love how drunk we are right now. Um. <laughs> and the Ambassador Award... This is where it pisses me off. The ambassador. I award love this. Went this is to, where we differ. Went to feminist frequency by Anna Sarkeesian. I accept that feminism needs a voice within gaming, but it shouldn't be Anita Sarkeesian. Oh, I don't know who she is. I'll be honest, no idea. She is a complete and utter tool. I'm gonna Google now. I I've no doubt she might be because. There are some horrible... I'm pressing the Windows key. <laughs> I spent too long playing on a Mac, haven't I? Yep. Like, way too long. She went to Kickstarter to make a series looking at feminist issues within gaming. Called Tropes vs. Women. And it, it, it just... She got... I think... I think she was asking for ten thousand dollars. Ended up getting two hundred thousand dollars. It's taken a nearly a year to get three episodes of this fucking series onto YouTube. It's more the fact that she's just pissed about with the money she's been given, oh. more than anything else. And and the damsel in distress trope. I mean, come on. And, no. And the examples that she gives for all of the tropes that she's trying to fucking argue it's against... It's oversimplified, isn't it? ...are oversimplified, overexemplified, and use data that have been sourced from other locations to the point where other locations are suing her for the use of their data. <laughs> Not just artists. One of the artists... One of the bits of artwork she's using to... Advertiser series is actually a bit of fan art that the uh, fan art producer is suing oh, her for. Oh, is that her? That's her. 
brilliant. So it rolls back to another story that we kind of glossed up. The the artwork for Feminist Frequency, the uh, Trops versus Women uh, series, actually includes some fan art. And the uh, the creator there at fan art has said uh, has contacted Anna Sa- uh, Anita Sarkeesian and said, "That's not game art. That's my art." You've removed my signature from that picture. Stop using it. Nice. Anita Sarkeesian's answer was, my work is transformative, so therefore it's public domain. <laughs> At uh. which point the uh, the original creator went, uh, sorry, no it's not. Fuck you. <laughs> Here's the contact details of my lawyer. We'll see you in court. <laughs> And suddenly it's gone. Yeah. That's about it, isn't it really. Oh. Uh, the, I'm not against no. the idea of tropes versus women. Gaming is a very male centric pastime. Yeah. It's a very gil, uh, very very male centric environment. But there, there's a lot that needs to be watch. done. But this isn't the solution. No, I, I, I'm imploring you. If you've not watched them, watch the Feminist Frequency series on... Yeah, I've seen that one. I know, it's just... Yeah. We'll go over ahead and watch some of these extra, but I... I, I mean, I have quite feminist views, but this is... There are she doesn't, she doesn't actually sell feminist views in any way, shape or form. She's just annoying. In fact... I want, in fact, I'm, I'm actually going to demand at some point, you take that camera, <laughs> you sit Fiona in front of all of her she videos. would probably have a good, yeah. And we record Fiona's <laughs> views to these four videos. There we go. There's something to look forward to. On that note, I think we should probably end it there because I'm fished. Uh, and, you're gonna get in, you. and you're going to get in trouble if you don't. No, no, she's not text me. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, stop the video before you stop the audio because uh, it's easier to sync that way. Right, and then we can one. stop.